Everything is happening online nowadays, including communication. That means that your conferences, your workshops, your stand-ups, your meetings, your check-ins, your coaching, your mentoring, all that stuff is happening on online platforms. And I swear, if I have to sit through one more Zoom call, I'm gonna break something. And I'm tired of all of these different platforms that are super limiting and have confusing pricing tiers and are only good at certain things, but not at others. So I went searching for a video platform that would fit all of my needs, all of my use cases. And I found one that I absolutely love. It's my new favorite video tool. It's called Butter. I'm gonna give you a look at it today. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, did he just say butter? Is that, is that the name of this video app? Yes, absolutely. Because it's supposed to be like your video conferencing is now smooth as butter. You can check it out over at butter.us um, and you can learn all about it. Get started, start for free. They got a free tier, which is absolutely amazing. And then after that, you do have some other pricing tiers. You can either use butter in the browser, which is the way that I use it, or you can also download the local version, the desktop version of Butter, I believe for uh, PC or for Mac computers, um, but it's really the same interface. So I'm just gonna close this and I'm just gonna use the browser because that's how I like to roll. That's how I like to do it. Um, here's the first thing you'll notice when you get into Butter. Um, you can create as many rooms as you want with as many different purposes, which can I just tell you something frustrates me so much about certain other video chatting or conferencing apps. I mean, I want to create separate spaces. I want this one for that and this one for pop-in meetings and this one for stand-ups. And I want to control what my room situation is and Butter allows you to do that. So I have currently three different rooms right now set up. I have a workshops room, a one-on-ones room, and a design champion for my members. But I wanna set up a room for a specific workshop that I have coming up. I have a three hour design and prototype mobile application workshop that's coming up uh, in November in a couple of weeks. I'll leave details about that down in the description, but I wanna create a room for this specific workshop. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna jump in and hit create new room. Now here's what I love. Uh, you get to name your room, you get to style your room. There's a waiting room that that you can make all of your participants kind of wait in until you unlock and let them in. So this works great for workshops, but it's not overkill. It takes only a few seconds to set this up. Then it's great for one-on-one -on -one meetings and team collaborations and all that kind of stuff. And you can have a consistent um, URL that your teams can get into, or it can create this workshop and then delete or this room and then delete it after and never have to worry about it again. So users don't come back to it. So, um, it's super great. So I'm going to move myself out of the way here and I want to upload my graphic, uh, for my workshop. So I actually have a workshop room graphic that I've created and, uh, I'm just going to kind of stretch up the crop size there. That'll work perfect. This is what my users are going to see. And I'm going to call this designing and prototyping, typing, uh, mobile apps. Go. Cool. Okay. Boom. That's what I'm going to call it. It's hosted by me, Jesse Showalter. You could also, if you wanted to, you could have put in unsplash or a Giphy, which is super funny. I've done that with some of my rooms and I'm going to create the room. Okay. So we're creating a reusable space, or if you want it to be a one-time space, you can do that. Now here's the other thing that I really love. I also get to I get to kind of detail out my room a little bit more, okay? So we already put a cover photo up there. That looks good. Um, and I wanna give it a background. So I'm gonna give it the blue so it kind of matches my, my, uh, my workshop. But we also, check this out, you also get to create uh, some mood music. So let's play, let's listen. Okay, I like that. Maybe we want something a little bit more like chill butter beats. Let's try that. That's nice, yeah. So you can shop the music if you'd like. I like that one. We'll stick with the chill butter beats and we can do a few other things like, do we wanna show the agenda, which we'll talk about in a second. Yes, we wanna show the agenda inside the waiting room and then you have to request to join, right? Or I can let everybody in, all right? So with that being said, I'm gonna catch a full preview of what my room looks like. I'm gonna make sure I have my volume up. This is what my workshop members are gonna see when they come here. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so they see my graphic. They can click on tips. 
they'll see some instructions on how they can use reactions, which is pretty cool. That's what they see, and I get the preview of it right here as I'm building it, okay? So, uh, this is saved, and it comes with a, um, a URL. I can share that URL, and it comes with a participant limit, okay? So, I know I only have, I can only have 100 people inside of my inside of my workshop or inside of my meeting, whatever it's gonna be. Um, I can also then go and I can add facilitators, right? So I can invite them by email and they will have the facilitator control, which you'll see in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and create an agenda for my workshop right now, okay? So uh, I'm gonna say something like, welcome, um, cool. And I'm gonna make that like five minutes. Let's save that. Let's do something like uh, presentation. Uh, on UI design. Okay, let's make that one like 10 minutes. Okay, and we'll press save. And then let's go design time, right? Uh, mobile UI design time. We'll do something like, uh, how many minutes? 60 minutes for that. And you can, we build this agenda. Now what's really cool is as I'm building it, if I want something to go, you know, in a different area, I just move it around, drag and drop. And from this, what's really great for me is as an organizer, I can see, hey, if I have three hours for my my workshop, which I do, right? I have a three hour workshop coming up. I know that I can kind of, I can plan my workshop here in my agenda. So I really love that. It's great. Um, and then again, when we go back to the waiting rooms and we see the preview, now that we've created um, an agenda, users will be able to actually click on the agenda and they'll see all the elements that we're going to be talking about within the meeting or the stand-up or the workshop in my use case, which is pretty cool, all right? So with that done, I've created an agenda. I can come over and create some timers, okay? So I can create a new timer. Um, and I can set this timer at maybe like uh, 60 minutes, okay? I can add a prompt and I can put a little bit of music in there and, right, we generate a preview of it and boom, that's gonna show up, right? That 60 minute timer is gonna show up whenever I turn it on. So maybe I say, hey, we're moving to design time. Boom, it's time for like 60 minutes of this. They can see a countdown. Uh, what I also really love is polls, right? So we can create polls and you can create these polls that are either multiple choice or open-ended. And then you can create them beforehand. You can create them on the fly while you're in your workshop or inside of your meeting, but you can also create them beforehand. I can simply click on this and say, you know, uh, you know, do you like UI design or, uh, or UX design more, okay? Um, and we put a question mark there and I'll put UI and I'll put UX like this. And then we can just delete this one. And then maybe there's a correct answer. Maybe there's not, there's not for this one. So we'll just save it. So now we have a multiple choice question, a poll that I can pop right into my session. I love everything that I have here. I'm Let's say I'm ready to start my session. I'm gonna go ahead and press start session inside of my room, okay? And, uh, and it's gonna go ahead and open up the kind of like prompt area really quickly, right? And we turn on our camera. Great, I'm gonna join my session. This is me as a facilitator or one of the facilitators, right? At any point, I can, right, I can click on, or I can mess with my agenda. But look, I can also up here in the top left-hand corner, I can say, I wanna start the agenda. Now everyone sees a running kind of timer of what's happening, which is really, really cool. Love that. I can also hit record and start recording my session. Every individual person that's inside of my session, they can take notes. These are private notes that are just for them, right? If they wanna keep things kind of like top of mind. We have your basic chat, but what's really cool is you can chat with individual people, just my facilitators. Really cool features, I love these. These are great for engagement, right? Being able to, people saying, hey, I have a comment, or I have a question, and there's hotkeys for those, one, two, three. So, you know, if they just press one, two, or three, like boom, like that, uh, I have an idea, those pop up. And I love this, if somebody has an idea or a comment or a question, and it popped up like that, I can give them the word. I can bring them on stage, right? And it would bring them up on stage with me, and then when I'm done, all I have to do is go, hey, that was a great idea, it pops them off off stage so it's a great way to feature people engage with people love that so much of course you can do all the other stuff like you know reactions you have soundboard reactions which are super fun uh but you also have uh like you know your standard kind of reactions which are great 
and then you are able to share your screen or go to spotlight mode, right? So if I'm the presenter, in this case, I will be for my workshop, I'm gonna spotlight myself and that's gonna put me here and then everybody else will be seen in these little bubbles. Now, there could be up to 200 people in these little bubbles, right? Which would be really, really cool. And if I want to, as a facilitator, really quickly, all I have to do is add people if they're in there and then update the spotlight mode, right? If I wanna stop spotlight mode, like maybe I'm having more of a team chat, all I have to do is close down spotlight mode and we'll actually get the grid of people right here in the main space, which is really, really cool. We can create breakout sessions. I love this a lot. I do this with my members. Uh, so I have a design champion membership club and I have live video hangouts with them. And then what I'll do is ask them a couple crucial questions and help have them kind of set some goals. But I do that in breakout sessions. So they break out into groups of three or four. They plan together. Then we come back together, which is really cool. And all you have to do is say, let's break out and uh, create breakout rooms or split into pairs, right? And then we can say how many minutes and really cool what, you know, what kind of names do we want? And we can add multiple rooms here. Um, really cool. And then we can just distribute people randomly into those rooms and then we can save it for later. It's there, it's ready, right? And when the time comes, I can go, let's start the breakout. Boom, we've moved into breakout session. Everyone will remove from this area, pop into their own breakout sessions and then they're able to come back in, which is really, really cool. So again, I can then kind of like end the breakout if I want, or I can jump around and join different rooms, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the breakout like that. And you get this great little timer that says, hey, the breakout session is ending. You're gonna be taken back to the main room in three, two, one, and boom, everybody will jump back into the main room. Other cool things that you can do inside of Butter, um, we have the ability to have like, collaborative kind of whiteboard space, which is nice, right? You don't have to jump out to another tool like Fig Jam or Envision, whatever that one is called, right? You can just all whiteboard in here together, um, which is cool. But you also have the ability to do uh, shared like Miro boards or watch YouTube videos together or embed Google Docs inside of things. So, well, that's it. That's Butter in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find Butter to be interesting. I really do. I'm using it for my upcoming three hour workshop where you can design along with me live. You get tips and tricks, takeaways, PDFs, resources. We're gonna be building mobile applications as well as a little bonus section where we build a landing page. So consider signing up for that. There's a link down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification icon so you know when more videos like this one come out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope that you're finding tools that work for you and that you'll join me in my upcoming workshop. Take care.